guys, welcome back to Which Way to the Broom, episode 21, How to Cut Your Hand Fasting Cord. So, I haven't been on in a while, but a lot of you should know that I got married, and when I got married, I hand fasted. Well, technically, I hand fasted, and then I got married, but technically, it's still not a year and a day. Um, so I guess let me throw in some context. So for those of you who do not know, or those of you who may have forgotten, a hand fasting is where two people who love each other uh, braid like a cord and they tie and bond and both themselves to one another. Um, we did this April 30th of 2019. Um, it is now <laughs> March 25th. Um, so me and my husband got married in September. Um, so we didn't really wait a year and a day, which I'm kind of glad about since now the fact that I'm cutting it. So if you're prob probably wondering, oh, well why are you cutting it? Well you kind of know the answer, it's going to get cut because the relationship is over. Um, not going to get into details why, this platform is not for me to vent about my personal life, it's just for magic, so we're not going to get into that. <laughs> um, so, um, a lot of people... Uh, I've read are kind of afraid to cut their cords um, because it's a spiritual oath that they had made to that partner um, which for my case uh, I didn't break the, my oath my partner did um, I am just going to finish cutting the ties um, so for me cutting my ties are cutting my hand fasting cord uh, secondly the year and a day thing um, normally uh, a pagan tradition, traditional Celtic hand fasting, you uh, wait a year and a day and then you become married the day following um, or the day after the first year. Um, we didn't do that um, and since uh, it's still not April 30th of 2020, I feel very comfortable cutting the, cutting the ties and cutting my oath or my bond to my husband. Um, so, first of all, there, there's why, my reasons, uh, mainly because I kept my oath and he didn't, so there's that. Um, I don't really have any other reasons why besides like letting go completely. I don't want any of him to do in my life. I don't really want anything from him. I just want to focus on myself and focus on my path and be myself and be me. So that's why we're cutting today. <laughs> oh, that sounded bad. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to flip and I'll show you guys my setup basically. It's pretty simple, not hard. So let's flip. Oop. Oh, I'm crafty. This was a perfect idea. I'm so smart. Okay, so here is my cord. A lot of you may have seen this already from pictures that I've posted of it. Um, got my buddy here. He's unimportant, but he is important. I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> so basically got my cord matches and my black candle and then scissors to cut my cord with. Um, so basically I'm actually not going to do this on camera because I want to focus my intention. It's probably going to be really emotional and probably going to cry a lot so I'm not going to do this live on video. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, I'm probably actually going to make this into a smaller video on TikTok of me like actually going through the ritual since it's more private and not connected with the deity I feel I would be more comfortable, you know, taking pictures during my working, so I will be posting that link to this YouTube video and then this YouTube video to the TikTok. I'm sorry. I became one of those people. I went to TikTok. I left you guys for TikTok. My bad. Oh lord, let's not go there. Okay. So duh, um, let me explain why I'm using a black candle. So black is good for, for absorbing many things and since I'm kind of wanting to absorb and burn out negative energy and these emotions that I have for my husband, I'm using black. Um, really you could use white because um, white can take on the aspect of uh, your intention but since black just kind of suits like my cold dead heart, we'll use black. And I just spilt that on my cloth. How dare I? Man, I'm a terrible witch. Just kidding. I'm the best kind of witch. Hey. Okay. 
So first of all, I'd like to begin with explaining my cord a little. Um, we used a lot of different colors, as you can see. Um, some of them were kind of hidden here. But when I cut these, I'm going to actually be cutting these one at a time because individually they each represented a vowel. Um, let's see, white was for purity and pink was for a pure type of love. Um, or white was for, like, marital happiness. Green was for prosperity and yellow was for friendship and the intelligence to see past the um, hard times in our relationship. Um, the gray, I also think, was for another type of prosperity. I think the green was for, like, a fruitful marriage, like, to be happy or wealthy in our hearts and then the gray was like for more of a money wise or to be connected to the goddess and the blue blue was supposed to be for like peace that there would always be peace in our relationship yeah yeah I, 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 he definitely broke that one <laughs> um, so that's what our colors really meant um, so the whole idea is to focus on the intention of why it should be broken uh, for each part of the cord, why it should be broken, um, and then cut that color. Um, and then of course let it drain away and out of me that it's no longer a part of me, that it's officially cut, and that I can let go. Um, so whenever I finish, this rope will be in two, and most witches would say, well, okay, I'm gonna go bury this and whatnot. I'm actually not going to do that. Uh, because this is like a like a ribbon it's like kind of a plastic material I'm not gonna go bury it in the earth I will probably cut it up and add it to like a sewing project as a part of stuffing of course I'm gonna cleanse it first um, so that way it really ha holds no spiritual value this way it's being repurposed and it isn't gonna go back to the earth in a negative way that's going to harm her because pollution so that's that's how I plan on g disposing of the remains. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's basically how this how this working will go. Um, if you guys have any questions, you know to hit me up, and I will happily answer all of them. And I'm gonna flip the screen back. Um, but yeah, that that's about it. I've never seen anyone like do a video on cutting it before. I've never seen anyone talking about their cut cutting their cord, so I thought, hey, opportunist here, let's be the first. So, here we go. Um, I probably might post some of this footage of me doing this in a more of a private setting to the YouTube account. We'll just see whatever I feel like doing. Alright, well, you guys have a great day, and I hope you enjoyed this little, like, 10-minute explanation video. So, we'll see you next time.